Hey y'all and welcome to Modern's Market and welcome to my easy to make laser gifts and engraving video. Today's video is sponsored by X Tools. I am so excited to show you what they have sent me to make some things for you and I, I was literally blown away. When I got this box, it was huge and it had so many things in it, but my favorite thing that it had was this book. And it literally laid out what everything was, what you want to cut it on, like the pressures. It gave you everything you needed to basically just jump right in and start making things. This is all of the supplies they sent me. All of this came in that one box. That's why the box was so big because, I mean, they just sent me so many supplies and I'm going to start by showing you a few things that I tried to make. Now, I am not an expert yet, but I'm getting close. This was the first thing I made and as you can see, that was a fail, but it was right out of the box. I got one of those little round discs that they sent me. They sent me two of them. My grandson is in the army, so I wanted to put the army emblem on it. So, I don't know what I did wrong because whenever I put it in, this right here, I love this part. This right here, you can actually see there's a camera inside the machine that shows you what you're about to either cut or engrave on or whatever you're going to do. There's a camera that shows you your surface that you're fixing to use. And I love that because that way you can center whatever your project is perfectly well, somehow I messed it up and I don't know if it was because maybe it wasn't calibrated right because I didn't even bother to calibrate it. I went straight into trying to design. So I may have messed it up that way. But what I did was had it just a little bit, maybe, I don't know, quarter of an inch too far down, you see there. And then at the bottom, instead of cutting it actually burn it because there was nothing else to laser you know what I mean so you can see where the little red laser was not in the middle and I thought I had it in the middle whenever I put it in there so that may have been what done it but if you look at the actual image considering that I just jumped right in and didn't try to really tweak it 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 turned out pretty good now, this was what I'm going to consider a fail, like an epic fail, but I didn't want to cut this out of the video because I wanted you to see my mistake, and I still think it's kind of cute, honestly, but anyway, that was the first one. That was a fail. Now, the second one was just they sent me like a ton of these little wooden tags, so I thought, okay, Brenda, put it in there, make sure it's completely centered this time with the laser. And when I did that, all I wanted to do was just put Monitor's Market on there, just some little something to see if I could make it work this time. So I didn't really care if it worked or not because I was just trying to figure out everything. So I went on, and this is so cool. In the program, literally everything they sent you in the box is listed in this program. So I went through and I found those little tags. I pulled it up. I typed in Monitor's Market. And I'm showing you this at real speed. I did not speed this up. I didn't slow it down from the time I shut the lid and put and hit the go button to the time it's going to stop in just a minute. Is true timing of how long it took to laser Monitor's Market onto this tag. So I want you to see how quick this was. Look at that. That's it. That's all it took. I was blown away at how fast it was. How cute is that? And it just simply says Monitor's Market. Like I said, I was just trying to see if I could kind of get it centered. And I did. So I was super duper happy with that. Now this little thing right here, I didn't get a chance to paint it or anything because Lila loved it and she took off with it. But I am going to show you how I cut it. The first thing you have to do when you're cutting wood is you use these little prism beams here and you want to lay them across the bottom. And what that does 
is it raises your wood off of the bottom of your machine. And that way it doesn't actually cut the bottom of your machine. So I put it in, I found this little horse and I wanted to make sure that it was as big as I could make it. So I sized it to fit this piece of basswood that they sent me and I set the pressures. Everything on the right hand side was literally all already in there. You just put what kind of wood you were using and I put auto measure. So it measured everything itself, auto pressure. If this is the easiest machine I have ever used in my life. Like there's four or five buttons for each project that you make and it's literally anybody can do it. So once I did it, now you see that stuff at the bottom that cleans up so quick and easy. So what I did is I pulled it out. I put those little things in some soapy water and then I took the rag and I cleaned off the bottom of my laser. I did it right away because I didn't know if it would hurt to like let it sit. Then I took all of my pieces and it was very, very thick. And each thing that I cut had two pieces, I guess, to make it thicker. So once I got it done, you can see Lila there to the right. She was playing with all the little extra pieces and she couldn't wait for me to get it put together. And as soon as I got it put together, she literally took off with it, playing with it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't get to paint it. I didn't get to do, but she was so excited about playing with it that I couldn't take it back from her. You know what I mean? Now, what you see me doing here, those little pieces that are kind of like sticking up, for whatever reason, I couldn't get it through, couldn't get the handle through the hole. But all I did is just snipped off those little notches right there and it went straight in. And with that, it was done. And I thought it turned out so stinking cute. And it was so easy to make. It took me 10 minutes to make this thing. So I was really, really proud of the way that turned out. Now, my next project that I'm going to do is a little bit better. And I, every time you do a project, you just get better and better and better, right? Like I said last week, this one is a bottle or it's actually a drink cup thing that I've had for a long time. And I wanted to put Monarch's Market on it. And once I got it on there, I thought, you know, it would be neat to just kind of go around in a ring. So I did not touch the bottle. I left it right where it was at. I didn't move anything off of my cup spinner. And I just kept hitting the go button, hitting the go button, hitting the go button until it went all the way around my cup. Look at that, y'all. How cute is that? I've had this little water bottle forever and use it all the time. Now, this is my favorite one right here. This is just a little, what do you call that thing? A cutting board. Lord have mercy. I go brain dead sometimes. <laughs> anyway, it's a mini cutting board. So I went on and I typed in Happy Easter and I found the most beautiful filigree bunny. I put the bunny at the top and Happy Easter on the bottom. Now, I wish I would have really thought about the font. Even though you will see me go through and try several different fonts, I didn't realize that when I'm making the font, if it's not a filled in closed font, if that makes any sense, like the font that I chose is open where you can go in and paint it or color it or whatever. See, see what I'm saying right there? It's not completely closed in or completed, basically. And that made a difference. So what I did is I left everything exactly where it was. I did not touch it. And I closed the lid very, very carefully not to bump anything. And I hit go one more time to go through it and make another pass. And that actually made everything look so much better. The bunny didn't need a lot of work, but it actually looked a whole lot better the second time. And then the Happy Easter, look how much better it looks. Now, even though it still needs to be filled in with like maybe a Sharpie or some paint pens or something, it still shows up a whole lot better now than it did before. So I love, love, love the way this little piece turned out. And 
I really feel a lot more confident now that I have made these five projects and going further and actually making something that I would be happy to present to somebody else. So basically what I did in this video was just got to know my machine, got to know how it works and the different controls and how you you know make this with this material and that with the other material and just sort of learned everything about the machine as much as possible and I honestly and truly I know I said it before but this is the easiest machine that I have ever worked with now you'll notice that there's a couple of things missing here in the final reveal because I didn't feel like it was necessary to show that little tiny tag. I mean, it wasn't really tiny, but that little tag. And Lila took off with my little Rocky horse. <laughs> so I don't know where she's probably playing with that at her house. But anyway, the things that I did finish that I still have is what I'm showing you on the final reveal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you several things from other creators that I found that were made with the X Tools M1 machine. Now, they are running a special right now for $400 off. This machine is on sale right now for $899, which is a steal in itself. It comes with so many different materials. I hate it when I can't think of a word. <laughs> anyway, it'll come with a few different materials for you to try things with. Look at this. That is absolutely stunning to me. Now, that is not my piece. These are pieces that, like I said, were made by several different creators with the M1 machine. And I just wanted to show you, look at that. I've got to make that for my kitty cat. That to me is just darling. But anyway, I wanted to show you some professional things that were made and let you see what this machine is capable of. This is literally the sky is the limit machine. And I mean that. There are so many things as I was researching this machine that you can make, especially with the fact that it is a cutting machine too. Now, as much as I love my crickets and I have several of them, I don't ever have to pull it out again. I can literally do everything with this machine that I can with my Cricut. The only difference is I don't have to put it through a machine and make sure I thread it and make sure the mat's long enough and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I simply put my HTV or my vinyl or whatever I'm cutting down on my mat, place it on the bottom of my machine, and go to town. Like, it is so much easier to use than a Cricut. Now, I am not putting down a Cricut because I have four of them and I love them. My only point is that if I didn't want to, I would never have to use them again. So, as far as I know, this is the only machine out there that is a laser and a blade cut machine. So, be sure. Now, the special that's going on We'll start at midnight tonight, Tuesday, April 4th, or, you know, basically April 5th is when the special the Easter event starts. So the two links that I'm going to place below, besides the M1, will start after midnight. The M1 sale is already going on now for $899. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get one of these machines. There will be links for the M1 machine and for the other two Easter event specials that they are doing after midnight tonight. So look at these gorgeous things. Now, these right here I found on Etsy and it was described as being made for the X Tools M1 machine. I am going to try almost every single one of these files. I'm buying them from this particular person. I will link this person down below because I have shown so many of their beautiful laser cut files and they have the same general look and vibe that I love in my house, like very farmhouse, very shabby chic, 
just gorgeous. Look at these pieces. You can do all of this with this X-Tool M1 machine. Is that not crazy? Everything you see in front of you, look at that. You would go to Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby and probably spend $40 or $50 on these pieces. You can now make them with your X, X I'm sorry, X-Tool M1. I'm getting excited and I get tongue-tied when I get excited. Your X-Tools M1 machine for pennies on the dollar. And I'm just excited about it. I'm excited about my future with it. I'm excited about hearing what you're going to do with one. And I'm just tickled to death to have this machine. And I want to thank X Tools for providing me with this machine to introduce to you today. Now, I will have a video every single Tuesday at 8 p.m. If you've never been to my channel before, my name is Brenda but my sweet grandbabies call me Moner. I am always in a live chat during the premiere of my videos. We have the most amazing group of people, and we just chit-chat and just have the best time. So be sure to come back next Tuesday at 8 p.m. and chit-chat with us if you haven't done that before. If you have, y'all know I love you, and I will see you next Tuesday. So as always, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.